new to Google Meet and not sure how to use it, we're here to help. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Google Meet app to make voice and video calls. Now let's get started. If you don't have the Google Meet app yet, you can download it for free from the App Store on Android or iPhone. To begin a new call on the Google Meet app, tap New in the bottom right corner. Then tap Create Link. From here, you can tap the copy icon to copy the link, or tap Share to quickly share the call link to a friend through a text message, email, or in a message on a social media app. Then you can tap Join Meeting to enter the call yourself. If you want to schedule a call for a specific date and time, you can do that too. Tap New in the bottom right corner of the Google Meet app, then tap Schedule. You can then add a title for your call if you want to discuss a specific topic. Choose the date you want to have the call and the time you want the call to begin and end. To invite friends, tap Add People. You can then choose someone from your contact list to invite. When you're done, tap Save. Once you've scheduled a call, you can tap it from your list of meetings to open it. You'll see a preview of your video feed. You can turn off your camera or microphone before entering the call. Tap the camera icon to turn your camera on and off, and tap the microphone icon to turn your mic on and off. Tap the sparkle icon to access camera effects, including backgrounds, filters, and color styles. When you're ready, tap Join at the bottom to enter your call. When you're in a Google Meet call, there are a few controls you can use. Tap the meeting name at the top to access information about your meeting, see who's invited, and invite additional people if needed. In the top right corner, you can tap the speaker icon to select your desired sound output. Tap the circle of arrows to switch between your device's front and back cameras. At the bottom, you can tap the camera icon to turn your camera on or off, and the microphone icon to mute or unmute your microphone. Tap the hand icon to raise your hand and let others know you have something to add or a question to ask. You can tap the three dots in the bottom right corner to access additional options, including emoji reactions, a chat feed for the call, closed captions, and more. If you'd like to share your screen, you can also find the screen sharing option here. In the activities section, you can run a poll or enable Q&A to allow call attendees to share questions. If you're going to be on the call while driving or doing something else you need to focus on, use the on the go option to simplify the buttons available to you. You can turn off on the go by tapping the X button at the top. When you're ready to end your call, tap the red hang up icon in the bottom left corner. That does it for our easy beginner's guide to using the Google Meet app. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see more in-depth tutorials on specific Google Meet features. For more helpful Google tips and tricks, check out our full playlist of Google tutorials. We'll have it linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching! If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every week.